All right, so welcome back everyone. Here we are, got ourselves another storage locker right here. So unfortunately this thing is kind of far. That's not an exit. The exit's all the way over there. So that's kind of unfortunate. Did I even focus? Yeah, it focused. So I did buy one locker here, so this should be fun. Uh, I paid 70 bucks for it. I bought it online. It's the first online auction I've ever bought. So I was kind of hesitant about it, but I think I think we'll do all right. It's, uh, it's been fun. I've been opening a bunch of lockers recently, so uh, this should be fun. They already opened the lock. He just walked off, and uh, let's see what he found. Did bring my tripod. So this is open. Let's see exactly what's in here. Let's put that bad boy up there. So yes, paid 70 bucks. Uh, Lots of boxes, those are always fun. I saw this thing in the photo, it looked like a toolbox. It looks like it's probably paperwork. That's what I'm seeing right there, some paper. Lots of bags, I see a couple Ikea bags which are awesome because I use those for uh, rummage sales. That, oh, those are pants. <laughs> it's like, what kind of clothes are those? We got a suitcase, bunch of boxes, I see some more bins. So in the photo, I thought the back was this. So there's another row over there, and I thought the back was that. I didn't see all those boxes, so there's probably double the amount of boxes and bins than I actually thought. So, could be fun. Let's uh, start loading up. All right, so let's get started. You know, lampshade, that probably goes with this lamp. Bunch of paperwork, it looks like. Some picture frames at the bottom. What is this? Is this a tablet? This might be a tablet. It's just a case. Let's see. Just a case. Alright. I don't think this is a. Uh, Try not to lose this glove. Um, I don't think this is like a house clean out, like somebody got evicted and they just threw all the stuff in here, but it is possible that this is someone's apartment. This looks like, if I'm not mistaken, Vera Bradley? Belva. I don't know that brand. Paperwork, bunch of magazines. Belva, Belva, but it's a nice bag. If it was me, if I was a girl and I liked colorful bags, I think that's pretty up there with Vera Bradley. More boxes. Let's see what's in this guy. So someone in my other storage locker video said that a lot of times uh, when people store the uh, store a bag, they open up all the purses, or all the, the zippers. So, although I said like in the last video I thought I was looked through, it might be actually different, like somebody might have actually just stored them and unzipped all the, all the zippers. Here we got some more. Got a purse here, open as well, you got receipts. This is Bensie Johnson. More paperwork and we have some more of these cases. And more purses. So, you might, you know, I don't know what the price is on, on some of these purses. They might be $20 purses. Some might be a dollar. In terms of the ones that I usually come across, these are in much higher quality. Oftentimes when you get these boxes, they're usually Tupperware and house good. Some more clothes. I bet all these bags are clothing. That's what that is. It's all jeans and... I don't know, what's this purple thing? Probably more clothes. Yep, these are all sundresses. That's what it looks like. So that will be flea market during the summer. 
Those will fly like hotcakes. That's my guess. More clothes. This person likes clothes. Got a George Foreman. And an Ottoman. I hope this guy's all tangled in here. All right, it looks like all these bags are closed. So I'm not gonna bore you too much. That might be like towels. <laughs> Pretty much the same difference. Uh, I got a jacket here. It's like a pea coat. So you never know. I mean, you can find one article of clothing that's worth $70, $80 and your whole locker is paid for, which is nice thing about clothing is that, you know, you really just need like one piece. That might be some Vera Bradley down there. Has kind of, uh, Declined in recent years, but could still find some. No, no, right. This one had something. All right, so it has a clock. Give yourself a clock right there. Sterling and Noble clock. There's some paperwork at the bottom. More paperwork. Got some glasses. Empty. That looks like possibly bedding. We have a purse up here. This looks empty as well. Grand is this thing is wild. I don't know. So I believe this was a female locker. Not like it really matters much in the grand scheme of things. I know the last locker I did was like. Definitely a guy locker in terms of uh, who owned it prior to that. Lots of. What do you got here? So you got a router. Probably a modem. Cisco modem. Kitchen. So this was like, not like I was going to say it's a promising box, but it was like something I was like, all right, so it's not all like paperwork, which could be a prom. Waste bags. Be nice if this was garbage bags. It's not. It's uh, silverware at the bottom. I feel like ninety percent of the time, garbage bags are just clothes. All this is. This is where I'm gonna make some money back. A whole bunch of DVDs, Blu-rays. See if these guys are even in here. Cause they'll be very, yep, no, she's in there. So you might have, I'd say around 40 to $50 in DVDs here. There's a bunch, as you see more down there. Blu-rays, you generally get a little bit more. You can sometimes get a dollar a piece out of them. So you probably got 40 or 50 bucks there. This one. Rat poop and all is a good one. Purses on purses. Gonna have to go through every one, make sure there's nothing in there, as well as make sure the purses aren't worth some money. You know, some of the stuff should go on eBay. There you go, Michael Kors. Bam. Now, is this real? I don't know. Generally, you can tell, I think, by the tags. It could be real, if it's real. If it's real, I'm not even gonna say a price because I might be off by 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Christmas ornaments. I just seen something run across the floor. Kind of sketched me out. Alright. 
There's all houseware stuff. So you have some Swiffer refills. You got light bulbs. I smell some candles. It might be just a Swiffer. So you probably got another five, ten bucks and stuff in there. So I think right now we're probably up about 20 or 30 bucks without having to go through any of this stuff, which is always a plus. All right, now down to kind of the good stuff. At least I thought. All right, I got some donations in there, some plastic water things, jugs. All righty, Tupperware. Nope, oh, other way. Rat poison. Nope. Spices. All right. Cabinet. All sorts of paperwork. So that's got to get returned to the office. All right. Actually, another guy who I actually seen at the auction the other day. There he is. He uh, he's here. He bought a locker. So he bought that forty dollar locker that I was talking about. And he's like, it was like a collector, but like a low end collector. So there was some antiques there, but he said it's probably going to just be like 50 or 60 bucks, I think. All right. Got this, but this is the Christmas ornaments. Looks like just kitchen stuff. You got a cold. All right. So I thought the kitchen stuff would be like pots and pans. This is like actually like an apartment kind of kitchen stuff. Mystery boxes, they always get me. This looks like it could be interesting. Oh no, that's a family member. And more cookware stuff at the bottom. All right, let's see what's in these boxes. Awesome, more spices, stuff like that. This I usually just toss. It's been in here, it's been hot. It's been cold. It says returns on it, probably all. Oh, more kitchen, that looks, <laughs> looks like a waffle maker. And that's like a heating pad or a hot plate yeah all this thing is it's all kitchen stuff this person what it's all kitchen stuff all right oh we got oh got money was I expected to find money I didn't even know just took that box off this feels light some wires What's this more kitchen stuff. I might even open that. More kitchen stuff. I wonder what's in here. Hey, more kitchen stuff. Oh. Suitcase feels kind of full. Let's probably just close. Alright, open that. More kitchen stuff. Two more boxes and a bin. It's all folders. All right, so it looks like we got a couple bins left. Um, this bin, I think, I just yeah. that bin is not for it's the one we just looked at. Got the suitcase here. I assume there's probably going to be clothes in here. actually all paperwork, mouse pad, maybe there's a computer in here. It's all paperwork and there's nothing too appealing. What kind of bag is this thing? It's pretty, this is uh, a Rockland. It's going to be a flea market item. Yes. If I don't see it. Yes, I'll see it at the next one. Yeah. Thank you for heads up also. Absolutely. Yes, all right. Well, two more boxes and a bin. Ooh, this one feels heavy. I hope it's not paperwork. It's paperwork. Kitchen. So I assume it's probably going to be more tough where I'm like, probably bet that this bomb one is uh, probably paperwork. This one, all Tupperware. This one, kitchen, more kitchen stuff, spices, some canister sets, 
stuff like that. And lastly, that last bin. More paperwork. If you guys ever wondered what was in a storage locker in a nutshell, well, it's pretty much it. Paperwork, Tupperware, glassware. Uh, found a couple cool things. I know I'm definitely gonna make money on this locker set. It's always an awesome feeling. You know, it's DVDs and Blu-rays. Might even pay for them myself in some case. I might even make a lot up for eBay. But probably throw these things all in the car. We got enough kitchen stuff to uh, start our own restaurant, I feel like. But it's been fun. If you guys enjoyed storage locker videos and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I clean out these lockers pretty frequently and make videos on them. So if you guys are ever curious about what's in lockers, this is it. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, smack that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.